Okay, welcome back again. We are in tutorial 1C. Hello Reaper, inserting audio. I'm gonna show you two uh, options how you can import audio. Then audio playback and loop. So uh, again, we are looking for the, the same file we already used in tutorial 1A. So the Spirits of the Dead. Uh, mix we've already imported now you you already know the option just drag it into the free space of the track control panel and it's it's automatically added in a new track i'm going to delete this one What you can also do is first create a new track. Shortcut is Command Shift N. Name it uh, audio file new whatever, and go back again into Finder. Drag it again and. advantage you can put it wherever you want huh? example here hmm. that's the second option that's also uh, dragging it directly from the uh, finder now a new option is up here in my Reaper window I also get to my Media Explorer. Now the Media Explorer allows me to insert also a fraction of my audio, for example from here to here. And just drag it down here onto a new track or will shall overshadow thee onto an existing track and that's sometimes handy when you have a, a big file and you're looking for a specific part of the file you want to import you can do it like that so you have less editing in the edit window afterwards of course you can still open up this file but it opens up a loop of it. Hmm? Undo is uh, command Z. And we go back into the item settings. And we deselect, we detick the loop section of item source. And now we have, we again have the, the whole file. So that's the second option how you can import a file of course you can also import also import the the whole file or to pry into thine hour. Yeah, like that huh? Jeroen? it looks like that has an autoplay option as well yeah this. maybe the autoplay we don't really need i would prefer going first to my the part i want to listen to and then play it back. From thy huh? spirit shall they pass no more oh. like dewdrop from the grass. Oh, you can even, as it looks like, you can even pre-listen how a loop would, if you, uh, if you yeah, choose you a can, very you short you can even bit. choose a loop. Yeah, huh? oh, it's practical. So far, I don't work very often with, with these options. But uh, I think it's it's really handy sometimes. For example, you only need the the lightning strike in a in a five minute uh, file. Then you can really only go for that, and uh, it keeps your your session cleaner. Okay, so that's for the two importing options. Uh, of course, you also can open up the Media Explorer in the View menu. You're going to find it here. That's the Media Explorer. So Command Shift X 
is the shortcut. But since we we uh, we we configure the screen screen set for you, which contains already a lot of uh, uh, windows in the so-called Docker. So that's that's the dock here, in which we have several uh, already pre-configured windows inserted. So uh, as long as you don't know the shortcuts very well, we recommend you to work with uh, this screen set. Now, jumping back into my edit window, when I go here and just play back, from thy spirit shall they pass no more. Let we are still in the uh, Media Explorer. So we have to jump down into the edit window. Of secrecy. Now it plays back two files. How can I change it? I only want to listen to the first track. I do this by pressing solo, meaning it only plays this track here. Or secrecy. Be silent. Of course, there's also a shortcut for that. The highlighted track is selected, soloed, by pressing Shift S. If I want to select more than one, I choose two tracks, highlight both, press Shift S, and I have both tracks. The other way around is muting tracks. So you can mute tracks, of course, with the mute button, like this. And as you've seen, here I perform it on, on one track and here on both tracks, since both are highlighted. So if I want to perform an action on many tracks, for example, I have few more here and I want to perform it on all those tracks, I select all and I mute or I solo them. How and do you select really the, all the tracks in one time? Well, in one time? Uh, yeah. Uh, I just highlight the first, press shift, go down, then I have all of them selected. I guess uh, command A will also work. Yes, oh, okay. command A works right. too. And that's quite handy. Now, sometimes we have also audio uh, that is just dumped in the edit window and we don't really use it, but we're not sure yet whether we will use it uh, further down the road. In this case, we can select the audio file and press Command M, which mutes the track. And it doesn't mute the track, it mutes the item. So when I have an item here and I solo my track, it will not play back anything here. But as we come to the second audio item on this track, it will play back. Will shall overshadow thee. And it does. Of course, if you don't have any sound played from your device at the moment, you need to go into preferences, audio device and choose the correct device you're working on, then it should work. Now one more thing, when I play back my audio item, for example, on this track, I play, I stop, I play again, that's always the space bar, I press space and it continues at the same point it had started before. If I want to change that, I can work with the return. It plays. I press return again. It stops where the edit cursor is in the timeline and it recontinues Thy at the same uh, exact spot the, the playhead 
had stopped. We have the loop play mode. Uh, this is performed with the shortcut R and when you go down into the left uh, down co corner here then you see there is a loop which can be uh, toggled. Of course this loop only works when you have a time selection. So when I do a time selection here then it will toggle. Now it won't play uh, the, the, the loop. Spirit shall they pass no more like dewdrop from the grass. Just continues. Now I press the R button once, which activates the loop. Spirit shall they pass no more like dewdrop from the grass. Spirit shall they pass. And it performs the loop. Our next tutorial will be 1D, Hello Reaper, working with video items and the use of uh, tracks.